Welcome back everyone. Okay, we have moved locations and that is because we have a special guest in the studio. One month from today, the man sitting to my right, as you're about to see, there he is, Coach Rusty Wright on camera right now. Good morning, Coach Rusty Wright. One month from today, we kick off. Yeah, man. Walk. It's here, ready to go. Yeah, it's, let's um, go. Camp starts Friday, correct? Correct. How you feeling right now leading up to it? Excited. Looking forward to it. Um, it's been a good January to June for our guys, so mm -hmm. I'm excited to get out there and Watch them go. Okay, so total leather one month. Here's what I love about the preseason stuff, okay? We see this all across the nation. Here's what we love about Coach Rusty Wright. The preseason rankings come out. The All-American statuses come out. Every co Not every coach. Some coaches sit back and they say, I didn't see any rankings. I don't know anything about it. Well, listen, Coach acknowledges it. Preseason favorite to win the Southern Conference. I've seen you acknowledge it, and it's by intent. It's not the end-all, be-all, but you're not avoiding the expectations. Well, I mean... You got to be voted somewhere. So, I mean, I'd much rather be voted first than not, not very good. So, we have an opportunity to have a good football team. So, I'm, I'm excited for our guys, excited for the fans. I, and wasn't expecting it this year. I yeah. really wasn't. Uh, so, it was a little bit of a surprise. So, that was good. But, you know, really excited for what the future holds for us and, and can't wait to go watch it in action. Okay. So, six and five finished last year for some teams in the Southern Conference. Six and five might be okay. That might be the goal. They may be in a rebuilding phase, a rebuilding pattern. That is not the case with the Chattanooga Mocs and how you're handling things right now. I know that. The goal is extra football. Tell me about it. Well, I mean, that's the ultimate goal. That's why we do what we do. That's why we're in this business is to go win championships, go to playoffs, go give yourself an opportunity to go do those things. And, and that's why I'm here. That's what I want to do. That's what I want to see. I want these guys to experience that. And you said it, it's the ultimate goal is to keep playing more football. Ball, and, that, and that's the biggest thing. All right. All the talent in the world at wide receiver, at running back, if you have all the talent in the world, it doesn't mean that much if you can't get the ball to the talent, <laughs> correct? And I know you were vocal about this in, in past seasons, and this is in no way a knock at anybody who's played the quarterback mm -hmm. position, but that man touches the ball every single play. You've been vocal about getting that quarterback. You brought in a transfer from Eastern Michigan. You picked up a big-time freshman. You've got Cole Copeland back. You have options. Do you have a starter? Uh, we'll see. You know, we got to go through and do that. Those guys have competed really, really hard since January, which I think we changed that room. And, and those guys don't have to necessarily go be Tom Brady, but they have to go be better than they were. Mm -hmm. And we have to make people around them better by being better quarterbacks. And we have to have some guys play better around them too as well. But it's a group effort. But now, I mean, we're going we're gonna to go through fall camp a little bit and see what holds and see how those guys do and then kind of go from there. You're going to learn a lot, I assume, in the first two weeks of fall camp. What do you expect to learn, though? Well, we got to find out what this football team is. Yeah. I mean, that's every year. Everyone has a new identity, and we got to find out what this group's identity is and what they're – what we can hang our hat on offensively, what we can hang our hat on defensively, and, and go from there. So the hype is there. The expectations are there. Now it's these next four weeks. They are so – I don't know if people understand how important four weeks are that lead up to that first game. Well, it's all important, or we wouldn't do it. You know, yeah. the summer's important. The fall yeah, camp's yeah, yeah. important. You know, the first game's important. The second game's important. I mean, that's what everybody says. So it, <laughs> welcome to football in the South, right? I mean, that's just how it is. Yeah. Um, Wofford, okay. September 3rd. Yeah. One yeah. month from today. Be here before you know it. Um, I'm not really worried about Wofford right now. I got, enough, I got enough to worry about with yeah. Chattanooga. Yeah. So, you know, if we can figure out a way to make ourselves better and give ourselves the best opportunity to go play all year long, not just the first one, but all year long, I think we'll have a, we'll have a good time. But it's, it's going to be a lot of fun. We've got a lot of great young men, a lot of local kids that are, are going to have good senior years mm -hmm. and junior years. So I'm excited for those guys. And Chattanooga, come out and just watch them and give us a chance. You mentioned one of them, local kids, Ty Beck, McClendon, Curtis, preseason All-Americas, two of four that are with the mocks right now. Yeah, great young men, local products, had uh, really good – Junior years, senior year, whatever years they were in last yeah, year. No I'm, not sure. anymore, I, yeah, no. I'm not sure what you <laughs> call it now. They're still here. <laughs> yeah, but uh, couldn't be more excited and happy for those guys for the work and effort they've put in. And we've got a number of young guys that are local that I think are going to have good years. Cool. Thanks for bringing that up, too. It, it is awesome to see those local kids we cover in high school also succeed on the college uh, field with you guys. So it's September 3rd. It's Wofford. It's home. It's in Chattanooga. Why not, right? Why not show up? That's what I'm saying. And I'm telling you, we got some guys who will have opportunities to play on Sundays. Mm -hmm. And uh, you need to come watch them because they, they are 
they are what good young people are, are about, and they will have an opportunity to keep playing professional football, and uh, you need to come watch them. And he's not fibbing about that. They're playing right now on Sundays, former Chattanooga Mox. He's coached them, and there will be more. We can guarantee you of that. Coach, thanks so much for your time this morning. Appreciate it. Always great to be here.